Good evening. Welcome to another craptastic, low quality, badly produced video from me, Phil, featuring the uh, today. Thought I'd do a spot of emulation again. So it's been out for a little while, and as I say, it's nice to uh, rekindle with the emulation now and again. So thought I'd try out, uh, since I tried it out on the phone, uh, retro art. Arch. Um, I know it's called Arch. I sometimes call it Arc, accidentally. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you really. Um, there's a few cool options that they've added um, for the PC version. I suppose they're available on other platforms too, but not Android. And that's like the kind of graphical enhancements and stuff like that. So there's all sorts of plugins. Uh, they call them shaders, don't they, in this? And one of them is. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things like kind of warping the screen, making it look an old CRT, black and white, scratches, even kind of adding noise and stuff like that, really cool effects. Distorting certain colours so the TV looks buggered. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but um, I found that the old old school 2 times Cyan, you know, what do you call it, Super Eagle and all that kind of naff things up a bit. Uh, not quite fast enough, this system. So I basically just went ahead and set it up with a, um, a kind of option which I like a lot and makes it look quite um, soft but also maybe a touch blurry I'm not sure um, but it does some other cool tricks to the colours like um, kind of increases the, increases the contrast so your darks look quite dark and um, it even adds this kind of thing they call blush, which I think, uh, or is it bloom or blush, which I think in in sort of photography terms is, um, you know, when the brights, the kind of the bright colours look really kind of blown out. Um, couple that with the sort of high contrast and, and the slight blur, and it actually makes the colours look quite, um, for want of a better word, realistic. You know, a bit more muted than they would have been. Obviously games like Yoshi's Island are not really... Uh, not really meant for that kind of thing. I'm just holding the fast forward button here, so get through quickly. It's kind of hard to tell from the video, um, you know, the effect that these uh, shaders have. I suppose you really need to see in person, actually. But um, yeah, thanks for again for the use of the old uh, dongle thing. That's what I'm using right now is the old 360 pad to control it. Configured that nicely. And what's awesome about this, I really like, is you can actually rewind emulation. So you do a few things like this. Um, if you hold it back, I've configured it. So I'll actually be rewinding the emulation. Music goes uh, backwards at that point as well, which is really cool. Uh, so if I just do some cool shit like jump around, I don't know. Can't do this one-handed. And then uh, hit rewind. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, really cool. Anyway, um, I think I'll just try a different game for now. Got a few SNES games on there, as you can see, just to test out. Been playing the, the Super Street Fighter 2 on the SNES a little bit, and then I thought, oh, fuck this, I'm playing the arcade version. So I located... Um, my favourite of the uh, arcade versions. So I've got this. Uh, oh fuck it! I haven't configured it right. F. Wrong option. Okay, load again. Load content. Arcade games. You want the main uh, Final Bone Alpha version, I think. Not the main version. Yeah, it's all new to me, this sort of picking your core as you play sort of thing to get going. I really like seeing this version again because um definitely my favourite version of the arcade platform. Because you get to pick all the different types. And um, For instance, I don't really like the crappy voices of Super and all that, so I picked Champion or Normal and uh, go for the classic classic sounds and classic colours. 
tried out Mortal Kombat a little bit on here. Um, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, they, funny enough, they run kind of slow, and yet when you play them in fast forward with the older fast forward one, which I'm hitting now, it actually brings them up to normal speed, which is a little bit of a, a strange thing. You'd think that if it can play at full speed, um, you know, proper speed, then that's uh, what you really want to do by default, but uh, it doesn't. Anyway, I'll just drop into MK1 there and show you what I mean. Oh, got the old uh, warning bullshit. So you can hear there, the sounds really ripping and stuff. And yet, yeah, one magical fast forward button, and everything's up to a glorious speed. So I really don't know, like maybe I can configure the game to run in fast forward mode or something like that. Um, but as you see, I'm trying to do the old uh, torpedo cigar. No, that's not going to happen with one hand. <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it just looks really decent. Um, it's really hard to appreciate it on this kind of, you know, camera recording. That's it running at normal speed. Uh, which is a shame. But, you know, it's, I'm happy in a way because it shows it can can actually do it. It just needs a bit of kicking the balls. Anyway. I'll drop out that, I think. It's just... Uh, Killer Instinct 1 and 2 don't work because they're... Um, not supported by the uh, main core which it runs or something. Um, so, MK2, get that going. Make sure to pick main. We don't want no crashes. Okay. And don't even get me started with the button configuration. It's not going to happen. Um, turn up a bit. As you can hear, the sound's sort of buggered. But, in magical fast forward mode, too quick, but um, the gameplay is nice. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to be. Can't feel do something. What do you mean you can't play one handed? at least get the old neck slice. Fuck off. Let's see if I can win by just doing that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, that's about all. Um, I'll leave you, leave you there. And I'll catch you soon. Oh yeah. Oh, put me in the pool. What an asshole. Yeah. This thing kind of broke on me earlier, it was the battery contacts, but I fixed it. So it's all working again. But again, button configuration, nightmare. Actually got bored of it, so may try again soon. Anyways, I'll leave you with that and uh, catch you later.